So let's see, talking about uh, the, the Raptor engine. Um, so there's, 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 the ship will have a total of six engines, uh, three um, of the sea level variety of, of Raptor, and those are actually on the rocket right now. So we have the three sea level, in fact, that's a picture of, of just inside that skirt, that's what it looks like. So we've got the th three um, sea level Raptor engines, and they, they gimbal, which, is, which means that the whole engine moves. So the way a rocket uh, steers is by moving the entire engine. So whereas an aircraft engine is static, and you, you move by moving like the control surfaces, like the aer uh, aer ailerons and rudder and elevator and flaps, this, um, in this, the rocket, when the, when the engines are powered, um, you move the entire engine to steer it. But so st the Starship will have three uh, sea level uh, engines that move up to about 15 degrees uh, angle and three vacuum engines that are optimized for efficiency that will, be, um, that will not move. So they will be just fixed in place. Um, and that allows us to have the biggest bell nozzle for the, uh, for the, rap for, for the, for the vacuum Raptor engines. Um, and uh, the, aspirationally, the, the target is a, a 380 second ISP for the vacuum engine. This is a very, in, in, in sort of space geek terms, this is like a really a great number. Um, and, and, and even for the, the steel oil engines to get over uh, th uh, a, a, a 350 second uh, ISP is also uh, really great. So, oh, actually, yeah, sorry. I'm looking at the slide, you're not. So that's what I meant by it looks like that on the inside. Sorry, come back one slide. That's the, that's the inside of the Starship right now. So that's what it looks like in the base. All right, uh, and then heat shield. So um, we have we've gone through various iterations of heat shield. There's a lot of ways to, to uh, skin the cat here. Uh, the, ultimately, we decided to have uh, heat shield um, hexagonal tiles, uh, ceramic tiles that um, are, are basically are, are like a tiny glass vermicelli um, at a microstructure level. Um, but they're, so they're very, very light, but, but, but very um, crack resistant, uh, essentially uh, glass tiles. Um, and they're, it, because, because Starship is, an, is an, a steel construction. Like, it, like at first, it feels like, oh, it's steel. Does that mean it's heavy? No, actually, it's the lightest construction. This is, steel is the best thing, is the, I think the best thing about, best design decision on, on this whole thing is a 301 stainless steel. Um, because at cryogenic temperatures, a 301 stainless actually has about the same effective strength as an advanced composite or aluminum lithium. Unlike most steels, which get brittle at low temperature, um, a 301 stainless gets much stronger. And if it's in the, in, the, in, the, in the extra hot condition, meaning it's cold rolled to extra hot condition, it also gets way stronger. So it gets, it's actually gets, it, it's, it, it's strength to waste ratio um, at, at cryogenic temperatures is, is equivalent or even perhaps slightly better than, than um, advanced composites or aluminum lithium. So this is, this is not well appreciated, because if you just look at the materials manual and say, like, what, what is the strength of, of stainless steel, it, 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 it looks much weaker than it is. You say, what is the strength at cryogenic temperature? Oh, much, much stronger, or, you know, at very low temperature, almost twice as strong. Um, that's when it becomes better than, than carbon fiber or, or, or aluminum lithium. And there's another benefit. It also has a high melting temperature. So for a reusable ship, you're coming in like a meteor. You want something that does not melt at a low temperature. You want something that melts at a high temperature. Um, and this is where steel is extremely good as well. Um, so it's, you know, steel ha has a melting temperature um, around sort of 1,500 degrees centigrade, uh, whereas uh, aluminum, you, you know, maybe 300 or 400 degrees. Um, and same thing for carbon fiber, and that's really pushing it, you know. You, you, so th this is ha having that much higher melting temperature means that you don't need any shielding on the, the leeward side of the, of the ship when it comes in for entry. And, and the shielding you need on the windward side, the hot side, is, is massively reduced because the, the, the thickness of the tile uh, is, is actually 
for a reusable system is dependent on what back shell temperature, like how hot does the back of the tile that interfaces with the airframe get. And because the steel can take a much higher temperature, your, your heat shield, even on the windward side, is much, is much lighter. The, the net effect is that a, a, a 301 stainless steel rocket is actually the lightest possible reusable architecture. Then, then it comes come to cost. The, the carbon fiber we were using was $130 a ton. The steel is $2,500 a ton. Oh, sorry, sorry, two, two, sorry. Yeah, 25, it's, the, the, uh, the, sorry, the $130,000 a ton versus $2,500 a ton. That makes more sense. So it was, it's $130,000 a ton for the carbon fiber and $2,500 a ton for the steel. So the steel is about 2% of the cost of the carbon fiber. So this is a good thing we changed from carbon fiber to steel, uh, by far. Uh, <laughs> it was, and and the, it's very easy to weld stainless steel. The, the evidence being that we welded it outdoors without a factory. So, yeah. yeah. Great skills by the team, but with, with carbon fiber, this is impossible. With uh, aluminum lithium, also impossible. Uh, but steel is, very, is, is, is easy to weld and it is resilient to the elements. Um, and also, uh, actually, uh, as, as uh, talking with Austin earlier, he was saying, like, on, on Mars, you, you can like, cut that up, you can weld it, you can modify it, no problem. Yeah, <laughs> that's a good point. You're, you're in, out there on the moon or Mars, you, you want something that you can modify, that you can cut up and use for other things, that's like for sure a great thing. So anyway, steel, I, obviously I'm in love with steel. It's, uh, you know, it's time, I, yeah, yeah, had to say it, you know. So great, so let's see. Uh,